Welcome back to the channel and to another new episode of 5 Things You Might Not Know. This, as always, is The 101. If you missed any of the previous episodes, check them out in the series playlist, link in the description. And with that said, let's get into this one, this time episode number 6 of 5 Things You Might Not Know About WWE 2K19. So let's kick this one off with even more unique NXT Arena commentary. Now moving forward, I'll limit these as there is more than I expected, but one more for now, this time featuring Triple H. So when Triple H makes his entrance in the NXT Arena, you'll get to hear these unique lines of commentary. Guys, usually he's here as a boss. Tonight, he's here as a competitor at NXT. You know, maybe this is a case of the teacher looking to educate the students. We know Triple H created NXT in his vision, but perhaps he's decided to come out here and show our NXT superstars how it's done. It's a case of leading by example. The game is here to teach and raise everybody to the next level, from the bottom of the NXT roster to the top, to show them how it's done the right way. Next up with thing number two, we have got squash matches. Now these are not new for 2K19 as they debuted last year in 2K18, but for new players especially, they remain a thing that you still might not know about. The trigger leads, hit some early offense on your opponent, and with a bit of luck, the overwhelming offense feature should kick in. Now essentially, this gives your superstar a massive buff in terms of move power, and within just a few moves, you'll already have your finisher. This allows you to completely squash your opponent and end the match in no time at all. With thing number 3, we are talking The Undertaker, specifically the DLC Big Evil version. Now as we know, this version of Taker by default comes to the ring on his motorcycle, but what you might not know is that he also comes with an alternative entrance. This is listed as American Badass, which is Taker's Big Evil entrance without the bike. It's also worth saying this is the entrance that kicks in during a chamber match, of which does feature a pretty awesome entrance animation. Next up with thing number 4, we have got moves that alter attires. Now the one we're probably all aware of is of course The Rock's People's Elbow, but first sees The Rock remove one elbow pad, then the other, then hitting the move with none on at all. But what you might not know is that this is not the only move of this type in the game. More moves like this include two for Ty Dillinger, which roles were originally added back in 2K17, in 2K18, the knee power removal didn't actually work, but it is back for 2K19 and works for both the Perfect 10 as well as the tiebreaker. That is in addition to a completely new move for 2K19, which is Tony Nice's running niece. This move sees the removal of the knee pad before hitting the big knee in the corner. And last up, we're thing number five, saving the best until last. We have got a brand new and epic reversal, which resembles a finisher out of nowhere. Now, as we know, the code breaker is of course an awesome finisher, especially when hit out of nowhere. And what you might not know is that as a brand new reversal, a new version has been added. Now I'm assuming this one is likely Jericho specific, and it is a reversal of the Harakurana. So when you hit your mid move reversal on a Harakurana, you'll get to see this, an epic code breaker out of nowhere, which for me is now one of the best reversals featured in the game. And with that one, once again another episode now done and dusted. 
So let me know in the comments if any of today's feature five things were new for you. And as always, if you enjoyed today's episode, then a like rating would be awesome to see. Stay tuned for more like this coming to the channel very, very soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.